Back on In Focus, I'm Steve Highsmith. Something wonderful is beginning this coming weekend. It is a story about two great kids. It's a story about a congregation walking the walk. And as Zachary Lajway reports, it's the story of one woman actually walking to inspire hope and fuel a cure. Amy Roof is hiking for hope. The hike is a 250 mile hike down the Appalachian Trail. Called Hike for Hope, Amy is hiking to raise money and awareness for the Progeria Research Foundation. What's your favorite subject? Science or gym? Science or gym. I like gym too. Spoken like an eight-year-old aspiring to be a scientist, Nathan Falcone is just like other children his age, except he has a rare genetic disorder called progeria. It causes premature aging and a variety of changes in the body that unfortunately at this point does not have a cure. According to the Progeria Research Foundation, there are 113 children worldwide living with the disease. What's that? It's Ryan Howard. Ryan Howard? He's our favorite Phillies player. Nathan and his younger brother Bennett are just two of five children in the world living with mandibulo acral dysplasia type B. One of the very important elements of the cell called the nucleus becomes a bit unstable and various functions that, um, that normally are carried out in the nucleus do not occur properly. This results in premature aging, which in these kinds of illnesses usually results in diseases of the heart. That's not a spatula, that's a fork. This one is, this is a spatula. My hope is that we can give these two boys a hope and a future. They're all ready for lunch, right? Mm -hmm. They're just normal, normal little boys who, who love to play, love to hang out with their friends, and, um, and you know, to me it's, it's just heartbreaking that they have this condition. And, um, you know, if there's something that I can do about it, then I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure they're here as long as they can be here. What is it that you want to be when you get older, Nathan? A paleontologist or an archaeologist. Holy smokes! But for right now, Nathan and Bennett, they just want their favorite baseball team to get it together. Go Philly! In Fort Washington, Zachary Lajway, PHL 17. More on how to follow Amy in a moment, but with me are Amy Roof and the Reverend Ryan Balson, head pastor of First Presbyterian Church of Ambler. Thanks for being here, both of you. Appreciate it. You. Amy, ready to walk? I think so. <laughs> ready to hike, right? I'm ready to hike. 250 miles. Yes. Now, how did you pick that? Um, well, at the time, uh, there's actually a projected um, range of about 250 kids worldwide um, based on Progeria Research Foundation's um, calculations that they do that um, there are 250 kids in the world that have progeria. Yeah, we see um, those numbers from 110, 113 up to 250, some say even more than that. Right. So, so some places they just don't have good record keeping. Correct. So that and that's the problem. So their estimate is about 250 worldwide. So um, 250 miles, one mile for each child in the world that has progeria. Now, did you know of Nathan and Bennett b before you got this idea? You got the idea what, last fall maybe? Last October, yes, on a, on a women's retreat. I knew Nathan and Bennett um, just through church. I'd seen them around, but hadn't really connected with them nor their family. Um, and then on this retreat, I met their mother, Phyllis, and, um, and the, the just idea kinda, just sort of started percolating around your, in your brain and yeah, it did. figure out it that, you know, kind of came out of later, nowhere. Yeah. yeah. Now, this women's retreat, I take it, Pastor, that you were not there. I was not at the women's right. retreat. <laughs> but uh, it is your church, right? It is. And, and so is this typical of the type of, of mission that, that a church, that your church does? It is a little outside of the ordinary of what we do, but since this family is part of our congregation, it's something that through our missions committee, we've supported progeria research for a number of years. Hmm. And when this opportunity came up uh, through Amy, we talked about it among our elders and in the mission committee and we've decided to support it and it's been amazing to see the number of people from our congregation who stepped up to support not only financially but in other ways they're doing food drops they're helping to promote it they're doing all sorts of support work to help amy in her hike now, amy i take it uh, you're not a hiker by by training no <laughs> i'm not <laughs> no but you are an athletic trainer correct? i am an athletic trainer so you're yes. in good shape I'm in decent shape. But you're not a hiker, so have you been training to get ready for this? I have been training. Uh, I've been training since uh, since the snow cleared in the region, and I've been out on the trail on the weekends, um, putting in the miles and working on carrying my pack to 
to and get you're a feel go through for the same it. pair of shoes, you think, or boots? Or? I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping <laughs> only one pair of boots gets eaten by the Pennsylvania rocks. Now how many so. days or weeks is this going to take? Uh, it's going to take about 27 days, mm. um, so almost a month. So almost 10 miles a day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, is this a, a difficult trail, or is this very, uh, you know, flat? Right once you get to the top, <laughs> it's just straight across. <laughs> it's certainly not straight across. Huh? It is. It is very rocky. Um, there are some changes in terrain in terms of elevation. Um, but the rockiness of the trail is probably one of the most difficult things. Most of the trail is actually only about 18 inches wide. Mm. Um, so it's not a groomed trail like we think of in the Philadelphia suburbs. When we talk about you know, going for a walk on a trail, we think of a three foot wide, nicely mulched and flat, um, flat trail. And mm -hmm. this is absolutely not that way. And you have to watch out for critters that are out there. From yeah. From black bear bit. to snakes. Correct. Yeah, so you're prepared for all that. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the members of the congregation are going to be walking with Amy, correct? That's correct. And I mean, are they prepared too? Or they're not going to do the whole 250, right? They're not going to do the whole 250, but there are going to be people who join her uh, for a weekend, for several days. And some of the people who are hiking are very seasoned hikers. Uh, there's one person who's an Eagle Scout who's considering doing a section of the trail with Amy as well. So there's going to be some people along the way that are very experienced hikers. Are you a camper? Like, no. You know? So, are, are, in other words, you're going to walk 10 miles a day and then you're going to get a helicopter back to a Four Seasons hotel <laughs> for the night and then back again? Or are you oh, camping no, out I'm, there? Oh, no, I'm camping out there. So, <laughs> it's, it's been a learning experience with everything that I've had to get and uh, get accustomed to in terms of preparation. Wow. Uh, this is going to be a very emotional experience for you, I have a feeling. Uh, I think so. And are you going to keep a journal or anything like that? I am going to keep a journal, yes. And as you have prepared for this, it was obviously a, a wonderful, great idea when you had the idea, but how do you feel about it now and what you might be able to do to raise awareness for folks who live with progeria and for the need for research? Um, I feel as strongly about it now as I did when, I first, and even more so to some extent than when I first um, thought of it. Um, there have been some things that have happened in terms of drug trial uh, results that are coming out, some of the research um, has been very inspiring that there is a drug that is showing some promise in treating progeria at this point. Um, so in terms of the research, it's, it's very exciting to, to be able to start raising awareness and uh, trying to increase that awareness so that that research can keep going forward and that this cure can be found. Reverend, when you think about Nathan and Bennett, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? First thing that comes to my mind is they're awesome kids. They're a lot of fun. I see them running around the church, playing with other kids, out on the slide that we have behind the church, and I just, I just love those kids. They're great. How about you, Amy? Very similar. I mean, they're great kids. They have a lot of energy, uh, a lot of fun to be around, and, uh, and it's just great watching them. Well, we're going to talk more in a moment. For more information, though, on Amy's Hike for Hope, go to hikeforhope1.blogspot.com. And you can follow Amy on Twitter and also get more information there at Hike for Hope One. That's hikeforhope1.blogspot.com or Amy on Twitter at Hike for Hope One. More on Amy's Hike for Hope in a moment on PHL 17. In Focus continues on PHL 17 with Amy Roof and the Reverend Ryan Balson, head pastor of the First Presbyterian Church of Ambler, which is right across the street from Cafe Meta and the Rita Waters Ice. Rita Waters Water Ice. Yes. That's great. Beautiful town. Beautiful town of Ambler. When you um, are walking, people can follow you, correct? They can. And how yes. are they going to follow you? Uh, they can follow through my Twitter account. Um, I do plan to, to post updates to Twitter on a somewhat regular basis as long as I have enough signal to. Where to are you going to start? I'm going to be starting the Delaware Water Gap um, mm -hmm. near I-80. So you're going to go northeast to southwest? I'm going Western. northeast to southwest, correct. So. And you're going to go all the way down. Are you going to go into Maryland or just the Pennsylvania border? How just to the go? Pennsylvania border, uh, and then I'm going to turn around and come back up into Pennsylvania about 30 more miles. Reverend, what do you think of Amy? I think it's an incredibly brave thing that she's doing because, you know, she went to this retreat, was inspired by what she heard there, and met Phyllis, and then got to know the boys better, and I'm just... I'm inspired by what Amy's doing, that she is stepping out in faith and doing this, something that's definitely outside of what she's ordinarily doing in a summer. But uh, I think our whole congregation is also very proud of what Amy's doing, too. How would you suggest that people can support this? 
Well, there's a lot of ways you can support, but of course we're looking for financial support. And one of the things you can do is you can go to Amy's website and she has several links on there. There's actually a link on there from a local businessman who's part of our congregation uh, through Sports Unlimited. And he has, he's created an opportunity for you to triple your impact. Mm. So if you give $5, they'll give $10. So if you give $5, it ends up being $15 for, for Geria Research. I think he'll what, do that up to $10,000 or that something. Up, it's, it's huge. Yes, up to $10,000. Amy, uh, again, you know, picking up on something that you said to me earlier, that this is a, an emotional experience, and it will be one for you, I think, as you go through it. What's your hope at the end of all this? Um, I don't really know. I think my, my hope is that, you know, um, others may be inspired to, to take up the torch and, um, and continue the work that, that I've started, which others have, con well, I'm continuing work that others have done before me. So I guess my hope is that it, it's a continual process and that, um, that we can just bind together and, and work on finding this cure for these well, two boys. Thank you both very much for the time that you've taken. And good luck on your journey, which begins this coming Friday on the 20th, correct? Correct. Very good. Good luck Thank to you. you. For more information on Amy's Hike for Hope, go to hikeforhope.1blogspot.com, and you can follow Amy on Twitter at hikeforhope1. And that's In Focus for this week. I'm Steve Heisman. Thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend.